UMass Mason, Josh Rivera, UMass Superfair from Boston, Mass. It seems nowadays that people want to silence me. Silence me from being a diehard fan like I am today, like I am now. What's up with that? I'm like, what is it? You don't like the no chant? You don't like the yes chant? Do you want to complain about me yelling, get off the court? Do you want to complain about me by chanting, you can't do that? There's nothing dirty about those chants. Nothing dirty about it. And today at UMass Women's Basketball, as they beat American University 71 to 61, I was really into the game. I got into it like I'd never been before. I was chanting defense while I was doing this. You know, like at the wall and stuff. And then after a while, some people were like complained about me doing that. And one guy asked me to like stop. But I stopped. But I'm gonna say, really? This is really the problem then. I might as well tell Turtle Boy Sports that because there's nothing wrong with getting to a fan. There's nothing wrong with getting to a game. You know, when you're being appropriate about it. I'm like, all the chance I was chanting was clean. It has been clean for like a while, all my chants. I'm not the one that started the dirty chants at the men's basketball games. Not me. But jeez. I'm like, I try to keep it as clean as possible, and then what? People still crying about my enthusiasm? People want to shut me up? They want to silence me? Jeez. But I'm not the only one that has a similar problem, has a problem. Meet my buddy out there in Orange County, California, Keith Franklin. He's the former UC Irvine super fan. I should say baseball fan mostly because he got banned from the game because of he did what? One silly little thing? I'm sure he didn't mean it, but still, he helped out with the chores out at UC Irvine, like such as clearing the baseball field out there. You know, what is this nowadays? What is this society coming to? To what? Diehard fans can't be diehard fans, coaches can't be coaches, and most of all, teachers can't be teachers? Seriously? Is that the message you want to send nowadays? What's up with that? What is up with that? As far as myself, I'm going to keep being a diehard fan. I'm going to keep having a high enthusiasm. I'm going to keep being energetic at all sporting events. Because Boise State, of course I post Boise State because I always have been before I even went to UMass. But still, I became a diehard UMass fan, but after what, the 2013-2014 season, it was like a misunderstanding about me being a diehard fan, a hardcore fan for one of the women's team. I'm not going to say a sport because, you know, they've been targeted enough by, you know, by people ever since Turtle Boy Sports posted that blog. But still, I want to tell Turtle Boy Sports this, that they're trying to tell me to stop being a diehard fan. And one guy came up to me and said, I'm going to have to ask you to stop. And I said, why? Because people just don't want to hear it. And I said, you know what? I'm about to tell Turtle Boy Sports that. And he said, really? And I said, yes. Because seriously, there's nothing wrong with being a diehard fan as long as you keep it appropriate, as long as you do it responsibly, as long as you're not harassing other people, whatever. Just people. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with chanting yes. There's nothing wrong with chanting no. There's nothing wrong with chanting you can't do that. There's nothing wrong with telling the opposing team coach to get off the court. Get off the court. Get off the court. Because everybody knows the coach gets on the court, it's a technical foul. Everybody knows that. And what, then referees complain about me in college? That is just so funny. Jeez. As far as the freshman hockey crowd, freshman UMass hockey crowd, in case you didn't know, I'm the UMass yes man. See, every time I chanted yes, it made me famous. Every time I chanted yes, it made the powerhouse class of the way the UMass marching band do it. 
Every time I chanted yes, the cheerleaders started doing it. Every time I chanted yes, the dancing started doing it as well. Every time I chanted yes, the little kids liked it. Every time I chanted yes, the women's tennis team did it as well. But seriously, this is why people on social media keep saying that freshmen get stupider every year. Well, not all freshmen. But I'm not saying to be that guy, but seriously. There's nothing wrong with being a diehard fan. Nothing wrong with it. Seriously, we cannot live like that because that just sends the wrong message. Yes, it does. So, those are the words you're going to hear. Those are the words you're not used to hearing. A word that you, haven't, you never heard since you were a kid. You want me to stop chanting no? You want me to stop chanting yes? No. 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 I'm going to keep being a diehard fan whether anybody likes it or not. That's right. I'm going to be a diehard fan whether anybody likes it or not. You hear me? Yes! 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 Joshua Brown, you basketball fan from Boston, Massachusetts. See ya!